and welcome back to the Night Hill channel and back to Shining in the Darkness. We missed a couple of cutscenes apparently, so we're going to address that now because we're getting close to the end. I don't know that we're at the end yet. Um, I don't know when the end is because this is not like an SRPG where uh, I go, oh, we're at battle 28 of 28. It has to end this episode probably. Um, so we're just going to go back. So apparently because I went from level three to level four without going back to the castle that's where this slots in so and captain's here too i Captain. can't wait to see this hi <laughs> so let's let's see and this is uh let's see real quick this is from the channel retro will games which i super appreciate so i'll uh have a link to retro will games in the description below since we're using your footage I, I love to watch uh, that fantastic intro again. Yeah, I, I made sure to let that happen. All right, so let's let's see what we missed here. He's using that CRT filter. My dear King Drake, I'm sorry that you persist on staying. Since you won't give me the realm, I'll just have to resort to violence. Okay, so we know the king's name is Drake now. Okay, not Edward. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, we get to see not Astral in action. Melville, we meet again! Well, if it isn't my muddled mentor, what fool's errand brings you here, feeble one? I've come to put an end to your evil once and for all! Face me, Melville, or shall I call you Dark Soul? Is that the best you can do, old man? This is very Star Wars. Then have a taste of this! Ha, ah, the old dog runs away with his tail between his legs. What are you going to do, Drake, now that your champion is gone? Answer me, King, or do you still dare to hope? Could it be that you have yet another champion? Perhaps the son of my dear Mortred? That's me. Well then, let me make him an offer. Boy, would you like to join me? I didn't think so. Well then, let's settle this once and for all. Meet me in the labyrinth, and I'll prove how hopeless things are. Is there any hope of saving my daughter or my kingdom? Uh, okay, he's gonna go through what everybody says. Is all as hopeless as it seems? I didn't get to see what else he said. Can't anything be done? I feel so useless. I'm afraid the king and the minister are in a state of shock. Need I say that we look to you to put an end to the traitor's threat. Melville is stronger than before. I was lucky to escape with my life. Who can hope to win against such power? Zan, have you ever seen anything like that before? He uses the demon breath. Little is known of that spell. But I fear that the arms of light may not stand up against such power. Interesting, very interesting. I need to find out more. Okay, I think that's what... I think that's everybody. Okay. That was a pretty cool cutscene, for sure. I'm definitely glad that we went back and saw that. What'd you and think? A lot of good context. Like, he's him saying, I need to learn about more more about Demon Breath, because, of course, what we saw was him just suddenly talking about Demon Breath without any idea why. Yeah, and I actually didn't even think to question it, because I know that that's used in Shining Force 1, so I'm like, oh yeah, the Demon Breath, of course. Yeah, no, you're right, <laughs> me too. Um, but the other thing that jumped out to me is that Dark Soul said, my Mortred, and this was before the battle with Mortred, and so it would have been a clue that we totally missed. Yes. Which, honestly, I'm maybe happier that that was a surprise. Like, well, and we couldn't remember who Mortred was at first, so uh, yes. it would have been fine. <laughs> that had more punch, though. I think that that was a surprise. It did. On the subject of forgetting names, so we are recording this essentially live. We'll, we were a few weeks ahead and then had some things come up that we'll talk about here in a minute, but yes. had a chance to watch the most recent episode, and I have to say, the flashback to Edward, <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I knew you guys would be like, some of you guys would be right there with us. Edward? Who is Edward? And then some of you would be like, of course, it's Deer Man. So, <laughs> yeah, I was just like, when did we know this? And then, yeah. Uh, all right, let's shift real quick to the other cutscene that we missed. So I'm going to pause the recording real quick, and we're going to shift over to that. 
All right, here we are, still with Retro Will Games. I really appreciate you uh, preventing me from having to backtrack to that. Um, this is apparently, after you save the princess, you can take her to the tavern instead of just taking her to the castle. So this is what that looks like. I had just totally not thought to even do that. Will, how goes your quest? Find any... Whoa! I didn't realize you had company. And who might this fair maiden be? Princess Jessa? Pardon me, your highness, I didn't recognize you. The princess? Dear me, I never thought I'd see the day when I'd meet her royal highness. The princess of Thornwood, isn't she lovely? Princess Jessa, I don't know what to say. My dear princess, your loveliness is a blessing to us all. Die, what's the matter? You're blushing. Don't listen to him, your highness. Haven't you got something else to do, old fella? I'm embarrassed. Forgive him, milady. A common lot they are. You should know better than to bring royalty to a joint like this. You'd better take her back to the castle right away. Um, is that all there is? I don't know what it is. looks like it. Okay, no, there is a little bit more. What are you doing back here with her highness? You aren't planning to run off with her or anything, are you? <laughs> That's awesome. That's nothing to joke about. Wait a minute, you're just pulling old Vic's leg, aren't you? No. That's nothing to joke about. <laughs> okay, so you have to say yes. I knew it all the time. Now go on, take the princess to the castle. Oh, and he just boots you. Okay, that's pretty funny. I like that. Okay, now I think that's it. Yeah, okay. Um, that's a really funny one, too. That definitely feels like a very shining cutscene, I think. Yes, and it actually reminds me of something that came up this past week. The uh, There was an announcement made that Super Mario RPG was coming to the, the Nintendo Switch, and there's yes. a cutscene in that game. Same thing, when you rescue uh, Princess Peach, as Mario often does, I'll, I'll say no more to avoid spoilers, but you have an option to not go where you're supposed to go, and you get in a lot of trouble if you do that. Hmm. Oh, I think I think I might have seen that cutscene. Yeah. I always like it when a cutscene or when an NPC gives you the option to actually say something different, and it's not just, like, you know, a repeat of some other dialogue. I totally agree. Like, yeah, uh, that's something that uh, I feel like has become pretty commonplace is the illusion of choice. And obviously this still is pretty on rails. You can't actually run off with the princess, but it's fun. Uh, it, it's fun that they like prompt you with that. Yeah, fun to try. All right. With that out of the way, let's get back to where we left off. See you then. We are back. So we're at level four and we're headed up to level five. Um... So I go this way and then I go right, is what we decided. So I also wanted to quickly say I got another art submission in for this episode, and I really hope I remember to check this part in the editing. I should, but... Um, Captain did a little bit more art. So we've got Hyra, which you're looking at now as a uh, portrait, and I think the one you sent me doesn't have all the uh, emotions and stuff. It doesn't have, like, the yes. mouth. Yeah, I'm still working on that, so there's okay. sort of a two-step process. I lost you. Are you still there? Uh-oh. Let me get him back real quick. Oh, now, now you're back. Okay. Okay. I heard two-step process, and then I couldn't hear you. Well, yeah, so the first step is to draw the portrait, and the second step is to animate it. And within the files, the way that it works is that the animations actually live on the same sheet as the portrait they live off to the right. And so I think, yes, I sent you the sheets without the animations done quite yet. Even the Milo one that I sent you, I had animations, but they were animations from another character. I did fix those, um, and at some point we'll share those again. But yes, you're right, I think it's sort of half done. I see. Um, and the other one we have is Hero. And man, both Pyra and Hero look awesome. You're really good at this. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, what I found, you know, like anything else with art, is that 
the best way if you're not a gifted artist, which I would say that I am not, is to use a strong reference. And so the Pyra drawing was, I will say, loosely based on Tao's sprite. You can kind of see that, similar color palette. But then referenced to two or three different artworks that exist of Pyra on the internet. And the same goes for Py for Hero. Hero is based very strongly on some art of Hero from the game. I think I All right. know the one you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to muddle them? I was say, this is the one. I know that if we can get that I that weapon, that's going to be real exciting for everybody. Okay, how do we want to muddle them? Well, the only way to muddle them is with the demon staff. So the only question is, do we want to do something else before we muddle? No. I don't think so. We're right at the start of this, so like... So we... Demon staff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I'm guessing you're right. You probably do know that hero picture. It's one of the official Shining in the Darkness pieces of artwork. It's it's very nice, and uh, it was it was fun to repurpose it or translate it to the Indian oh, style. Oh my goodness! Okay, he actually took that really well. Well, <laughs> that was something. Uh, let's not use the medallion. I don't know what that will do. I mean, we just gotta cross our fingers. That's right. What? <laughs> That's a weird one. Also, I felt like I was making a face earlier. I just, like, drank a whole monster, which I never do. Because I am trying to stay up late and record tonight. And man, did that hit me. <laughs> Darn. Oh man, I've been there. Um, it's been a while. I'm a little bit more caffeine dependent than I used to be. You're not much of a caffeine drinker, right? No. That's why I, like, I save it for when I'm going to need it. Because I'm trying to record a lot of Lost Eidolons tonight after we get done, I think. That should be good. Uh, oh, okay, he actually stayed fully dressed. She did not. But I was like, I don't know if I was making a face or not, so I should say something. Oh. Alright, so the next thing I want to hear about is you just got back from a big trip. Yes, I did, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, normally, we try to record pretty far out, and so we were four or five episodes out, and then I had to go on... I had to. Wow, that makes it sound so bad. I chose <laughs> to, and was very fortunate to, go on a trip. My wife and I went and spent a week in Europe. That's awesome. So where'd you go? What'd you see? We went to Paris for five days, and we had a wonderful time. We saw, you know, of course, the Eiffel Tower and mm. the Louvre, and... We spent a lot of time in art museums and a lot of time in cafes, which I highly, highly recommend. Um, we did not do the really expensive Michelin starred, you know, three hundred dollar person type restaurants. We just did the cafes on the corner, and what we found, at least, was that there are no bad restaurants in Paris. No matter which restaurant you go to, all of them have really, really good food. And so, you know, just a random brasserie, which is a, like, the French for brewery. Uh, we had, like, you know, prawns and risotto and escargot and wow. steak and, like, just really, really, really great. And then you eat outside and you sit watching the, the street go by and you spend, you know, 90 minutes just kind of sitting at that cafe, eating and drinking and admiring everything. That sounds awesome. Yes. Highly recommend it. I think that, in general, Paris... Not my favorite city. It's basically New York, except they all speak French. And hmm. anybody who's been to New York knows either it's your kind of city or it's not. It's just enormous. It's very, very big and kind of overwhelming. Yes. But after that, we actually took a detour to Belgium, which is where my family comes from. And so That's we awesome. spent two days in Bruges, saw some family, had dinner with them, and otherwise just took in a much smaller city. Um, Bruges is about 100,000 people versus Paris is several million. That's really cool. My family comes from uh, Czech came from Czechoslovakia, which doesn't even exist anymore. But I would love to uh, go there and see just what it's like, you know. 
Do you know what part of the Czech Republic they're from, or are they from what is modern day Slovakia? Slovakia. Um, I don't totally know off the top of my head, but I know it's written down, and I have the stuff it's written on, so. Because my grandparents went at one point. Mm hmm. I don't think technically my family is from Bruges. They're from some of the towns nearby, but one of the things that's very true about Europe is that if you have a car, you can get anywhere extremely fast. So I think they lived, yes. you know, two or three towns over, but it was a 20 minute drive. Yeah, I've got a friend that lives in Finland, and I mean, he'll talk about taking a day trip to Germany or something, and, you know, as a Texan, that just blows my mind, because here you can drive nine hours and still be in Texas. Yeah, and that's just one of the directions. It's even longer the other way. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. So I can't even imagine, like, yeah, I'm just going to take a day trip to another country. Like, that's wild to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a train ride for us, and it was a 90-minute train ride from Paris to Bruges. So it's very, <laughs> very close. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, and, of so course, Bruges is the subject of a film from a few years back called In Bruges, which is Colin Farrell, Brennan Gleeson, Ray Fiennes. If you haven't seen it, I strongly recommend it. Very funny. But also, it does an amazing job of portraying the city and in a flattering way. Like, it does a really good job of representing the city as a you know, beautiful place to be. That's awesome. Um, so what was your favorite part? Hmm. Well, I think in Paris, our favorite part was one of the art museums. It wasn't the Louvre. Not the Louvre wasn't wonderful, but we preferred the Musée d'Orsay, which is another art museum in the same area. And I think mostly, but what I wasn't expecting about the Louvre, and you know, I guess you don't think about these kinds of things, is it wasn't originally built as a museum. It was built as a palace. Oh, really? That was repurposed into a museum. Yeah, it was repurposed into a museum not long after the French Revolution. So you can imagine why they would have repurposed the palace after the French Revolution. You can imagine a couple reasons. Yeah, exactly. And what that means is that it's actually confusing to navigate. So you look at your map and your map says, go straight, but then you walk, you know, 20 feet and there's a dead end. You're like, where am I supposed to go? Well, to get to the other side of the wall where these paintings are that you want to see or these statues that you want to see, you need to go to the right, go down a hallway, go down a staircase, come back up the staircase, and then take a U-turn, and then... You know, you I, I think I can relate to that. How so? <laughs> With what we're doing right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It is a bit of a, it's a, it's a bit of a maze. Um, did they still give you 3DSs? Yes, they do. And I actually <laughs> was talking about that in the Discord, because I thought that was super cool. I yeah. did not understand what I was looking at at first. At first, I thought it was just a random person who had a 3DS, because we did not get those. We just listened to something on our phones. I see. But yes, it's a blue 3DS with official Nintendo headphones, and it says the Louvre on the back of it. And I guess, like, they're using the 3D to show people 3D images of the stuff they're looking at on their screen. It's kind of strange. Interesting. I mean, it's kind of cool, though. Um, it makes sense. If you're going to have a tour that tells you where things are, having something that also lets you know, like, what you should be looking for is uh, got to be a huge help. Yeah. Um, trying to find my way back, because we're going back to that fountain. Yes, you can just go straight. Where you were going will be okay. exactly where we need to. Oh. We've, we've seen them, I th think. I didn't think we had seen the Chimera. I knew we had seen, seen one that was pink, colors, yeah. and we'd seen one that was blue, but like this is the one from Shining Force. Yes. Which is pretty cool. None of them have a lot of health, though. No. We definitely are feeling pretty strong at this point. I think I was reading that level 50 is more than enough to finish the game, so that okay. A, gives you a sense of how strong we are, and B, gives you a sense of how close we are. Okay, yeah. A white-hot gas. I don't think we'd seen that. Wow, they can hit hard. Okay. We hadn't seen that yet. Because these no. just... Okay, yeah. I thought they were hitting ones think... on us before. But... I was going to say, I think that when, when I went back to rewatch the episode where we saw these, we talked about they attacked physically and it wasn't very strong. And we talked about, oh, you know, the dragon seems to have a really tough AoE, so hopefully we never see it. There it is. Now we have. Uh, yeah, let's heal up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that was Paris. Within Bruges, 
I will say in general, it just it was a, it was a very interesting and beautiful city. So there's a lot of things to like. I think the boat tour is probably the best. So if if you're familiar at all with Amsterdam, what Amsterdam looks like, kind of cities on a canal. Not too much. That's what Bruges looks like. So it's it's got a canal that runs around the city and then offshoots in a few different places. And so you can get into a boat and tour the city from the boat, and it's just very very beautiful. That's pretty cool. I took a short trip as well while uh, we were on break, so that was like another week that we didn't record. I went to a music festival. Um, in Texas, we have South by Southwest, which is in Austin. Um, do I go down there? You do not, but you also don't want to go back the way that you came, or you will end up coming back up those stairs, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't want to go this way? No, you do want to go this way. You don't want to go back the way you came. Okay. This way? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Um, but yeah, we have South by Southwest here, which is like a really big thing in Austin. Um, and I've never actually been to that. But that in Dallas, we have like a heavy metal and rap parody of it called South by So What. <laughs> so I went to that. That sounds fantastic. It was very fun. Um, but it was also outdoor. And uh, we hit, like... Uh, I want to say the hottest it's, like, felt like on, like, heat index or whatever is, like, 117 degrees Fahrenheit. And I forget what that is in Celsius, but hot. Yeah, I was going to say, 117 is going to be... Call it... 30... No... 43 or 44, I would think. Maybe more, maybe 45. Yeah, it was, it was pretty hot. And they gave us free water, which was nice. Um, but it wasn't particularly cold. So it, it was... It was something. <laughs> um, but I did get to see a lot of my favorite bands play. And uh, got to meet one of them as well, which was really, really cool. Which band is that? Uh, that is Escape the Fate. It's one of my longtime favorites, and uh, I'd met the bass player before, but I got to meet the singer for the first time, and he was super nice, and we talked about upcoming stuff they had, which I won't talk about, um, but yeah, he was he was just awesome. So they're a metal band. What kind of metal do they, uh, what, what is their sort of specific genre? Uh, metalcore slash post-hardcore. I don't know if that means much to a lot of you, but it means some screamy stuff, some singy stuff. Okay. But yeah, I've I've liked them for a really really long time. So that was really cool. I want to heal up people real quick. I forgot how quick we go through color variants of enemies on this floor. Yes, it's a very weird floor. Yeah, yeah, it is. We we go through a lot of enemies really quickly. Uh, but yeah, that's that's about all I've been up to. I mean, that's plenty to keep you busy. Um, and I will say, I relate on the heat. Uh, that was the one thing that I didn't mention about Paris that I was not prepared for. Mm. I was not prepared for the humidity. Um, we knew that it was going to be warm, but not hot. In the high 70s which high 70s is beautiful. Like that is whether you like to walk around in. Oh yeah. But it was as humid as, as a trip to Florida. Wow. And so we had tried, or at least I had tried, my wife was smarter than I was. I was trying to look sort of more in tune to the people in Paris where, and people in Paris don't wear shorts. No. For whatever reason, they're willing to suffer it out in the hot in, in long pants. And so I bought, brought a few different pairs of long pants. And that lasted about 12 hours. And I went to the store and I bought a bunch of shorts and I wore them the rest of the week. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely done that too. I, I'm not a shorts person much either. Like, like uh, actually to the music festival, I wore pants on day one and that was a mistake. So day two, I wore shorts. Yeah. Um, okay, so I wanna go other way. I want to go yeah, to the right. We haven't seen that. No, I was going to say that looks new. That's definitely new. 
they're a little scary. I'm gonna I'm gonna boost Milo here. Try and get them out of here. I'm guessing they're just like little demon guys. Like they're not even. They're not like anything I've seen in the Shining World before. No, we had talked about those, I don't know, flying dragonish creatures as being kind of like gargoyles and Belials. Yes. Like, this almost feels more like the demons in Shining Force 2. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I think I'm going the right way. Yes, you are. Okay. Like I said, it's hey. been a couple weeks, so I don't totally remember this. We've only been here once, and I was just totally stumbling around that time. Yes. But we've got extremely far stumbling around. Um, I have a request, and I, you, you, I promise this is not meant to just punish. This is purely for interest's sake. Okay. Let's try to spawn an enemy on that puddle. We have walked over several and not spawned an enemy, and I know Floor 5 has a new enemy. Okay. I was standing on the puddle, wasn't I? Yeah. Yes. I don't... Oh, there we go. Sirens. Okay. And I wanted to ask if looks, this looks familiar to you. Yes. This is used in alternate, right? It is, yes. And so, uh, yes, Eric and, and team used the siren in Chapter 5 on the boat on the way to Whirl. And um, as somebody who just recently played through their newest version of Shining Force Alternate, um, it was pretty cool to realize it wasn't just an awesome sprite, it was an awesome sprite from this game, because this game doesn't get much love. Yeah, for sure. Um... And also, if that's the only time that's used, like, I don't, I, I totally get why they would use that, because, like, it's kind of weird that's the only time that's used. I think this is the way. It is. Okay, so I need to go up here, and then I think it's a left? For the fountain, yes, that's what we want. Yeah. And then right will take us... We don't know exactly where just yet. Is this a... It is. It's the, it's the shiny, glowy okay. rainbow fountain. Let's... I don't remember if we did this or not. Let's vision the tears real quick. Pure tears. These sh this should be used at a special fountain. I think this can only be used once. Okay. So let's item use... Vial of tears for some reason. Greetings, young warrior. You know not how long I've been expecting you. I am the Spirit of Light, and I can aid you in your quest. I see you found the Arms of Light. Now I'll give you the power to use them to their utmost. Brace yourself. From this moment on, you are the Champion of Light. Okay, so this is the Water Spirit. Yes. Is this... The same spirit from Shining Force 1 that appears to you uh, under Monarina? I don't know the answer. We had asked that when, ironically, when Edward told us for the first time about this. I, I went back and we asked that question. Is this the same as that water spirit under Manorina? And uh, I don't know. Could be. I don't think it looks the same. I think that one is different hair color. It's but, blonde, I mean, but like... Yes. With these old games and the technical limitations, I'm willing to kind of squint at things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Like we talked about, it, or do we have the Sword of Light? Is it the same thing? Mm -hmm. And it's like... I mean, depends how much you want to squint. I don't know. <laughs> but this right. is interesting. Right, and especially if this game takes place after Shining Force 1. If the Sword of Light was, was destroyed or forged into the Chaos Breaker, then it's probably not the same sword, but you're right. It's hard to know with old games. I don't know. Could we... Could we put, like... What was stopping us from taking that and, like, recharging it? I have no idea. Oh, the Shining Knight. Okay. Now listen to me. Should you ever find yourself mortally wounded, return to this fountain, for my waters are here to heal and comfort you. Now go, drive out the darkness, and return peace to this land. Wow. That's huge. Okay, I want to fight real quick. Perfect. Um, so we can just do that anytime? Yes. That's huge! It I'm is. Now assuming. The, if we're the close. The downside to... is I don't see a golden fountain on this floor, so we will always have to come back from the fourth floor and do that little hike. But with this fountain here, that's going to make it much, much easier. Yeah. That's huge. 
So, also, if you're not... Oh, look, herb water, yay. Um, if you're not at the level you want to be, that's, like, probably a great place to grind. Yes. I just want to see if she has different dialogue. Hit points and magic points are now fully restored. Okay. So we need to go this way and mm -hmm. hook a right and then go that way. Yeah, go straight past the next right and take the right at the end of the hallway. Okay. This way and then right here. Yes. And then right again. Yeah, we can go right again. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not 100% on exactly which way to go next, but... Yeah, we've not been this way, so that's good. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna save state because I don't want to do all that again. <laughs> Just in case. So, we'll be right back. Alright. Let's continue into the unknown. Oh, that's one of those guys. Okay, I don't think I need to fight them. I don't think so either. We just save stated. Let's go for it. The oh wait, this is not the golems. No, no, this is a recolor. I do not believe that this guy has the weapon, so this won't help us. Okay. So never mind. I'm not. I'm not as motivated. Also, we talked about. I don't know if this is the finale or not. If it is, welcome to the finale. If it's not, maybe next episode. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't think we've got much more. I won't say anything too specific, but uh, I appreciate I think that. We'll this episode will probably either end with us defeating the final boss or being defeated by, and then having to make a decision about how to proceed. But that's my best guess. I'm okay. Sure. So you do think we'll see the final boss? I do. I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's probably Dark Soul. That's a very good oh. guess. Okay, so that's just a fountain, so I want to go not that way. Uh, do I want to go this way? No. That is the way that we have not been yet today. Going the other way would take us back to, to the fountain. Would, so I want to go left? Straight. If you go straight, we will go to the part of the floor okay. five that we have not been to today. Thank you. So straight and then left up ahead, I think. Uh, okay, I think that's another new color, maybe. Yes, I think we saw that one last time, but we haven't seen it today. And I think there are a total of three recolors, so we probably will have seen them all now. Okay. And again, it's so odd. They had all of these other floors where they could have shown this enemy, but for whatever reason, they left all three colors for the final floor. Yeah. I'm not sure about the decision-making process on that. Um, it just seems like they want this to feel like a really big deal. Yeah, for a final floor, I mean, it's a pretty epic enemy. And we are getting a ton of EXP. Um, yeah, I think we'll just heal to both of Milo and Pyra. And then... I said left. We hadn't... Well, Correct, we've not been this way. Okay, this looks like it just loops back. That's another recolor of that enemy. Yes, it is. Yeah, I think the last one, the fire was red instead of blue. And they were demon something. Now these are brimstone. They look scary. How much do you do? A lot. Yeah. I appreciate that we outspeed everything now. Even with Hero. It's very true. Yes, it's a big help. Which is a little bit weird, because the whole game has not been like that. No, it started at around, what, the fourth floor, I think? I think that was when we really genuinely outsped most things. Oh, it's just one of those guys. Okay. There's a chest. I'm going to double-check people's status. We're close enough to full health. Okay, because I don't trust it. All right, here we go. 2,000 gold. Okay. I get so nervous anytime I see a chest. I'm like... What? It's the right attitude to have. It's good. What new scary thing awaits? Okay, we got that chest, so we're going to keep going this way. 
We haven't been this way. Yeah, going the other way is a treasure chest you have gotten. Okay. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna peek down this hallway real quick. Okay, that's one of those guys. Is this one of them too? No. Do I want to explore more before I go in there? What do you think? Well, I would say look at the map and see where that door takes you. Oh, it just takes me back to the place we've been. It does. I'm assuming it's a one-way door. Yes, that's one of those one-way doors. Okay, yeah, so I... Do I want to do this? We have the rope. So yes. That's a good point, we do. Is this... This can't be somewhere we've been. No. Okay. So I can go up there, or... Okay. We're still at full health. Miracle herb. Um, do we remember what that does? Yeah, that's the actual revive. So get rid of the herb water, which oh. was supposed to revive, yeah. and replace it with the miracle herb, which does revive. Sweet. All right. back. Where are we now? Where did that take us? Uncharted territory. Okay. I actually think the game does a pretty good job of respecting relative position floor to floor. So we only need to walk what, three or four spaces on mm -hmm. floor four, therefore we only move three or four spaces on floor five. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I thought everything looped back on itself, but upon further inspection, I'm not sure that's true. I think I just got really confused at the start. What does that mean, everything moves back on itself? Like, in what way? Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay, well that didn't go... Uh-oh. Oh no. Um, Does Milo have an AoE spell that he can use? Yeah, we probably should. Burst or Blast? What do you think does more? Think burst is probably going to do more just because it costs more MP. Uh, and since we have the magic rings, if we need to, we can just use those. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. Hey, she's doing good. I'll take it. Yeah, that was definitely the right call. Maybe. Since only two left, his attack probably would have done more. But it doesn't matter, it's fine. Alright, let's hope. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, well. Okay. We're good. Milo needs some healing, Ooh. otherwise, we'll be fine. I think Hero needs his weapon equipped. I think you're right. Um. That kind, I think. Yeah. Gosh, I'm nervous. Um, what I was talking about was us in the first couple episodes we were trying to map it and we got really confused and I think that it actually would have worked out okay if we did that. Yes, I'm sure it would have. I think our biggest problem was that it was far too slow. And yeah. Nobody wants to watch us. I, that, that's not true. There was at least one viewer who said they were really hoping we'd, we'd try to, to write it down, but that would have made this so much slower. Yeah, I agree. I totally forgot we had those rings. I was, like, worried about MP, and now I'm not. Darn. Okay, they don't do too much. Oh. They don't do too much to Hero. That's Milo, different story. Well, Hero's, no, now, Hero's now got all the arms of light, so his defense is probably a lot higher than it used to be. True. There we go. I'm like so anxious for the end of this. Why is that? I don't know, I just have no idea what to expect. Like, you know, I, it's not like an SRPG. I just don't know as much about this genre. And I've never finished a, I've never finished a game in this genre. So I just have well, no idea cool. what a final boss looks like true. I mean, my guess is that it's probably going to look like any other RPG. There's probably going to be two bosses in a row. So whether Dark Souls is one of them or both of them, um, you know, like some of the boss, some old RPGs, it was like every boss has multiple forms, but yeah. it feels like every final boss has, there's two of them, right? It's Dark Soul and the Dragon. It's the King of 
my grand seal. Is it? No. What's the other town? Uh, Gallum. King Gallum and then Zeon. Uh, yeah. There's always two. But King Gallum and Zeon, you also don't have to do in a row. True. Whereas Dark Soul and Dark Dragon, you do. You know, I've never tried to run away, so I didn't even know that. I think you do. I'm not positive, actually, now that you say that. But I, I think you do. Hmm. Also, appreciate for a moment, I don't know if you were looking, we've collected a total of 1.2 million experience from these characters. Wow. That's a lot of XP. It is. I wonder how many battles we've done. I can only guess. If a viewer wants to go back and count that... <laughs> Please don't. You have something wrong with you. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> While you're at it, count how many times I've used the word the. Fewer well, times we've had battles, I'll bet. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Maybe you can get an AI bot to do it for you. Probably, probably, but some of these things, like, that require all that dedication are going to be a lot less impressive in the future. I was thinking about that, like, I've seen somebody, you know, in the first, like, six Star Wars movies, every time the word the is uttered or something, it's all just condensed down, and I'm like, why? But, like, yeah, that's, that's something that used to take, like, insane levels of dedication, and now that's just going to be, like, ask an AI to do it for you. Right. Yeah, my favorite version of those, and it's not very mature, but it's just, it's the truth, is the effing short version of The Big Lebowski. I haven't seen that. Have you seen The Big Lebowski? I haven't, but I actually own a physical copy of that, because my dad told me it was important enough that I watch it that he bought it for me, and I still haven't seen it. I have a tremendous amount of respect for your dad. My dad <laughs> saw that movie and was like, what the hell did you just make me watch? And <laughs> I, it was totally worth it. I was totally worth letting making my dad watch it, but... Um, um, my dad's version of that was, I thought it would be funny to make him watch Deadpool when it came out. <laughs> and oh my, my dad is, like, uh, a lot more conservative, so it was really funny to, like, at the end of Deadpool, he had zero appreciation. Yeah, I can imagine that. Well, so The Big Lebowski is a story that, um, defies explanation, but it's enough to say that they use the F word, I think over a hundred times maybe it's close to 200 but so the effing short version is just every time that they use the word and it's a two and a half minute long video that pretty much captures the entire plot of the movie that's funny it's very funny it's funny in concept and then just watching it it's like i always laugh when i watch it i am also assuming just by the way that like we're gonna have some sort of like i'm gonna know that we're coming up on whatever we're coming up on and I'm going to have the chance to magic ring out. I will tell you that uh, torches, yes, Torches... Know. Torches might be that indicator. I'm going to magic ring out. Okay. Okay. Use... Magic ring. Alright, um... How close are we to max? So Pyra needs to do it one or two more times. Yeah. At 30 times each, she could do it three more and it would it would still barely get her to full. Okay. One. I'm hoping that by alternating them, I'm like extending their life. I mean, it's working so far. I'm not going to jinx it, but... Okay. One more from her, one more from Milo, I think. Can you write that down, if that happened? Yes. I am not going to remember that. You can just, like, message it to me on Discord, I think. Okay. <laughs> Milo's magic the next dream episode. Script. If there is, I got no idea. We're at 44 minutes. There might be. Okay, I don't know. We'll see. In Discord. A ring is cracked. Thank you. Speaking of, how have you felt about your new Discord, which is now three or four weeks old? Um, I'm pretty happy with it. You guys are really cool, and it's fun to uh, get to know you better. Um, and I'm excited to get you guys more involved in stuff. I've got 
lots of things that uh, are coming up that are going to be exciting. more Discord events. So make sure you uh, come to the Discord if you haven't. Like, it's if you really like Shining Force or SRPG stuff. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's heal up Hero too. I'm being like super OCD about everything because I just have no idea what's gonna happen. I think we can just take this guy down. I think yeah. you're right. If we can take out a group of four, we can certainly take a group of one. I just kind of meant without using a uh, MP. I'm trying not to take too much damage, and I think this boost Milo thing is the best thing I can do. Yes, I would agree, and it's only getting better. Yeah, because he's leveling more. And we did finally hit 50. So. Okay. Ooh. My goodness, there's just so many encounters. But we yeah, are feel like, at the end, apparently. I say this feels like one of those scripted encounters where it's meant to, like, you, you get to a certain square. Could be. I don't know that those are scripted, because we did have a viewer saying that he ran into a lot of the uh, big ball guys. Hmm. Um, and I thought those were scripted. Yeah, they they feel like they're scripted. Do I want to go again? Do I want to go down this way and explore more? There is a miracle herb at the end of this hallway, and. Otherwise, you have now explored the entire labyrinth. Congratulations. Hey, confetti. So it's if up I... to you. Do you want an ability to revive that is not on Milo? No. Okay. We have one already. Yes, and it's not that... on Milo now, is that right? Or if it's on Milo, we should fix that. That's a very good point. Let's do that. I think we put it on Hero, is my thought. Yes, that seems good. Because I, I could then res somebody. Well, I couldn't do that in the same turn. Hmm. I was like, I could res somebody and then heal them, but that's not going to work. Um, let's see. I think Maybe he's got it. it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, perfect. Alright, I am going to save state here just in case, but... You can save state a little bit further ahead. I'll go ahead and tell you, there's a door. Okay. So you just stop just short of the door. Alright. Saving, and then we'll be right back. Unless this goes very badly, in which case it won't be. <laughs> yes. What he's referring to is, I just said, the final save state. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll see. Uh, okay, we'll have magic ring on her once, I think. And that's, I think that's all she needs. Yes. She had 260, I think. So Yeah, we're yeah I think we'll be okay. All, all right. right. Oh, whoops, I forgot. I've got to... I've got to, like, spam stuff to get through that. Here we go. What is this? Admirable. Truly admirable. You may not know it, but I've been looking forward to this. Strange as it seems, hero, I've been bored. After attaining all this power, there were none to challenge me. Until now, that is. Your death will make my victory all the sweeter. Here we are. Okay. Um. I mean, this is it. I was kind of lame. I was so. Mortred had special music, and this is just regular music. I'm kind of underwhelmed. I agree. Like, I'm kind of surprised about that. I think we boost Milo to start. Yes. And you could potentially use. Is it shield or quick? Whatever it is to. Oh, yeah. Boost up the defense of the characters. I don't know. If he's using Demon Breath, it probably won't help. Does that hit everybody? 40 to all. Okay, it does. Yeah, I think you're right. Is not a lot. I'm not worried about that at all. Not yet. I think we boost hero now. Mm -hmm. Yes, agreed. Mm -hmm. Ooh, big. Ooh. It looks like he's got a cross in his hand. I find is that kind of interesting. Yeah, it looks like a first aid cross. Huh. Um, alright, what now? What are we thinking? We could quick, just in case. 
Oh wait, she doesn't have it. Yeah. Um, I don't- I bet he's immune to slow, but we could try. Sure. Yeah. I think she could also be on healing duty. Like, I know we don't really need it right now with the way Demon Breath is, but if he pulls out a surprise 200 damage... <laughs> um, okay, that might need to be a Discord emote, like, right there. Just sad Dark Soul. <laughs> What is this? And what is this behind him? Like, I, I want to, like, take a second. Like, yeah, th this, this is very Shining Force. Like, we are yes. in weird technology that I don't understand. Um, yeah. Do we think... I I'm going to, like, appeal to my Shining Force super fans here. In Shining Force 1, when you go to Whirl, the town with the mermaid, and you go down to the ancient stuff under the ocean there... There's these floating bean things, and I have no idea what they are. Does this seem like the same thing in the background? You know, it, it very much does. I'd have to go back and look at the map specifically, but I know exactly which beans you mean. Um, I'll try if I remember to throw that in right here so, like, you can see what I'm talking about or, like, anything yeah. else that is comparable. Yeah, no, I'm going to go ahead and just pull up the map from, from Shining Force, and I'm going to look at it. Okay. Yeah. Are these, like, pods? I don't know. This is all just really weird. I'm assuming, um, also, by the way, this is going to be the last episode. That's my thought. Even if we go yes. long. <laughs> yeah. yeah, even if we, we manage to fail. Um, you know, there's, there's one enemy we haven't seen that maybe you go back and look for, but other than that... Okay. Um, Alright, you ready for me to advance? I think so. I'm trying to find that map, but um, I'll listen as you narrate. All right, here we go. Why? Why must I lose? By the darkness, this cannot be. I did not pay the... Did I not pay the price? Is this the power you pledged me for my soul? Who is you? Will the darkness allow its will to be undone by a mere child? What? Is, what? Who is he talking about? Heed me, darkness. Give me your all, and I'll give you the world. He dies? Oh, now Those we have music. It's phase two, what I tell you. Yeah. So this weird thing opens. Okay. Um, I think this is also a great time for you to, since it's not explained... Do you want to tell me about Dark Soul here? Yes, I do. Uh, there's two things to say. Number one is this sprite should look familiar. Way back in the very first map that I ever made you, that boss rush, this was the alternate sprite for Dark Soul. Sweet. Yeah, I do remember that. And it was colored to the red and blue of Dark Soul from Shining Force 1, but nevertheless, it was the same um, character. So Dark Soul in this game is, is a different character than Dark Shining Force 1, and the community, I don't know if it is a mistranslation or if it's a changed translation, his real name isn't Dark Soul, it's Mephisto. And yes, so he's a completely which different is character. is a biblical demon, I believe. Yes, I believe that's right. And Mephisto canonically is the child of Mashela and Dark Soul. Which is huge. Yes. And it makes me sad that we didn't get that translation. I agree. So the good news is this guy's not doing a lot of damage, and Pyra can almost certainly keep us healed up. Yeah, actually, you're right. I'm just going to have her on healing duty now. But I am looking at the map for the Battle Under Whirl, and I Ooh, can confirm... I'm glad I healed Milo there. You can confirm... The eggs do exist. They look almost identical to this. They are, they're very like, I don't know what you'd call them, symmetrical cylinders with rounded tops and bottoms on them. So I think you're probably right. They're probably related. I, yeah, I really wonder about what, what? Okay. Oh, that hits harder now. Okay. Okay, I think we sacrifice some, oh, we're, wow. Oh, okay. So that Miracle Herb is real valuable. Yeah, we're going to Miracle Herb Milo. And it's going to work this time. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully. 
Um, I would have her heal herself. I think you're right. And if we can keep Milo alive, heal four should get us back where we need. It's 50 MP, but he's got plenty. I agree. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh. Yeah, let's, let's heal four. <laughs> technically, he'll need boost again. Milo? Yeah. You're right. Um, is there anything else? No, I don't think there's anything else we can do that's as worthy of that. Okay. Oh, interesting. It retains it. All right, that's good to oh, know. That's cool. Yeah. 404, that's huge. Milo might have to go on healing duty now. Yeah, unfortunately, I think you're right. I mean, here it does plenty, but... Wow, these double does attacks, a lot yeah. of damage. Okay, so he can heal himself to full. Pyra can heal herself, I guess. I mean, I think I would rather just keep doing heal four. The only problem there is that what happens when you run out of heals? Like, I'm what if hoping... he doesn't go down in four turns? Yeah, you're right. All right, we'll do that and just have Pyra heal herself, I guess. Yeah, if... He can get some criticals, maybe he'll go down that fast, but I think he's got more HP than that. Okay. Oh no, he went first. That kills Milo. No, it doesn't. Oh, but he'll he'll attack again. Maybe? Ah! Oh, um... This is not good. No, the game very much tricked us, lulled us into a false sense of security. Um, okay, I think we just heal up Hero and go for it. I have a lot of other options. God, he does a lot. Alright. I mean, we... Like, I'm giving it all she's got. Do I heal, or do I just throw the extra damage in with Pyra? Um... Well, I guess my gut says bolt four, because if uh, it doesn't kill him, the battle's probably over. I agree. That was a lot of damage. It was, but we are dead. <laughs> Unless we get one more turn with Pyra. No. No. Rip. That is crazy. And that's a long run back, so we're gonna we're gonna load my save state here and give this another go. All right, here is my thought on how we approach this. We need to exit the Dark Soul fight with more health. Whoops, that's not a great start. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and reload. Give me a sec. Maybe I should be a little more patient. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, alright, let's figure out how we're gonna do this. I should be calling him Mephisto. Yes. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna approach this the same way. We are, and, and the only thing that I'll say in phase two, we didn't try the shield spell with Milo. I think, no, I think we breath, but it'll help with those physical attacks for I sure. I think you're right. He didn't do that to us last time. Do you see what I talk I'm talking about about the first aid cross? Which hand am I looking at? When he casts a spell. Oh, okay. No, I did not see it. I'll keep an eye out for it. So it'll be here. Oh, yeah, I see that. Sorry, I, I see that and I think it's just an energy blast, but you're right, that is unmistakably across the middle. Alright, now I'm going to... Start, I'm gonna have Pirate healed now, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just to start that process, so that we enter phase two with a little bit more damage, or a little bit more health. Hmm. Yeah, he does more damage than Milo, or than Pirate heals, so I think if we're gonna do it that way, Milo's gonna have to come in at some point. Yeah, I mean, do we wanna just heal four right now? Yes, I guess. I was gonna say the the if if we get a critical hit, I think the battle is over. If we don't get a critical hit, I think we've got one more turn. But yeah, the bolt four will, will ensure that that's not true. Yeah, yeah. So if you do bolt four, I hope he doesn't die. Darn. Okay. Well, 
I thought you had a little bit more health than that. I did too, but well, that's fine. Okay. Alright. Um, okay, so let's do that. Let's have you... Uh, quick is what it is, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that'll quick everybody. And then we'll boost... We're gonna boost Hero first, I think. Yes, that's probably more efficient, just because Hero, Milo's not attacking this turn. Yeah. All right, so that gives us what? 22 defense, 31 defense. That speed is gonna to matter too. I wonder if we'll outspeed Dark Souls. Ooh, now. yeah, you're right. Very good point. Huge. Well, Hero doesn't, but still does plenty of damage. All right, is there anything else he can do? Screen? That's just uh, dispel. Yes. There's no way he's he, that's no. I would that. agree. Okay. Um. I'm I gonna do heal. one more round and then do the heals. I think. Okay. And we're so gonna then bolt. Boost. Or, yeah, boost. Right. Round. Yeah, it's just about. We need to be. He has, like, a phase two, phase two. <laughs> Clearly. I mean... I mean, what... Also, like, I'm not reacting a ton. What are we looking at? What is this? It is... a Final Fantasy end boss, if I've ever seen one. A bunch of demons that are merged together yeah. into some un unholy abomination. I very much agree with that. Just very weird. Alright, there's everybody healed up. Yeah, he's starting to double us again. Right, but he did 100 damage, which is a lot less than last time, isn't it? Yeah. So I think we just heal Milo this turn. Mm-hmm. Because we can almost heal that off. Yes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's a lot. And if he does that twice, it's bad. So I think we go one more round, then we heal four again. Yes, that seems good. Do I... yeah. Yeah. I think we just hit him with everything. You probably can't afford to use this again, but I agree. that's okay. Another huge crit from Hero would be very much appreciated right now. Yes, it would. Fingers crossed, don't hit Milo. Hey! Hey! There we go! Alright! Congratulations! Shining in the darkness is done. Hero's party stands victorious. We get no EXP for that. <laughs> That's so cool. What do you think that was flying there? Did you catch that? I did not. I assume it was a bird. Why would it be something different? Could it be a phoenix? You know what? It certainly could be. I don't know. I'm like reading into everything, but that's what you're here for, so. <laughs> um, I don't know. The trader's closed. Oh, well, that's okay. We Can don't I... really need him anymore. What is the, like, I'm closed thanks to you because nobody needs a weapon anymore. Okay. Nice job. Do they all have dialogue like this? Why is are they who walk the path of the ancients? For should they be waiting, my services are theirs for the asking. You seem fine. Well done, Milo. You'll forever be remembered in elven lore. Oh. I don't know why specifically elven, but maybe they're the record keepers or something? That's an interesting question. I was going to say, isn't he an elf? But no, he's a hobbit. Yeah. Fire is an elf. I'm sorry, but I'm closed for today. Alright. Sorry, I'm out of business now that the evil one is gone. Also, I just had a crazy thought. <laughs> is he an armadillo man? Mm, yeah, I mean, I could see it. I mean, the, the hair and the mustache are not something that Guns has, but everything else tracks. Yeah. We just, you know, a lot of people say Gans is the only Armadillo Man, and I'm like, 
If not, what I, I I ask you, what else is what what is he? You know, comments. What else could he be? I've never understood Guns as a character because he's an armadillo man, but then he also wears a big suit of metal armor. Like, pick a lane. Shouldn't he be either a guy in armor or an armadillo? But I mean, he still looks cool. Yes. Hero, I heard you avenged your father. Good job, lad. Hero, thanks to you, I guess there's nothing to be scared of now. Who would have thought that you kids would turn out to be such heroes? Milo, you did good boy. I'm really proud of you. I cannot thank you enough. I am forever in your debt. We paid a steep price for peace. I pray that it was all worthwhile. Ah, thanks to you. We'll never forget your kindness. Okay. I guess we go now to the castle. Let's talk to the king last. Yes. Thank you for saving the realm. I'm sure Mortred is smiling right now. You've taught me what it means to be a knight. I thank you, hero. You saved the realm. Step forward and the king will reward you. Hyra, is it? I see an untapped potential in the girl. Hero, thanks to you, we no longer need to fear the darkness. Hero, it's so good to see you. I've been so worried. Alright, let's talk to our king. You are truly a hero among heroes. Hero, you've put an end to Dark Soul and his evil designs. I declare you first knight of the realm. Rise, Sir Hero. I christened thee first knight of the realm. Now rise, Sir Knight. You've said that twice. Thank you. May you be honored as your father once was. From now and forever, you are the lord and master of Castle Thorngard. As for Milo, I appoint you counsel to the new lord of Thorngard. Now what can I do for Pyra? I would like to have her join me so that she may learn all that I know. I see that Pyra's happy with your suggestion. So be it then. The kingdom of Thornwood will surely prosper with you three to guide us. Okay, so I don't know much about medieval uh, hierarchy, but if you're the Lord of Thornwood, but you're not the king, what does that mean? I don't totally know. Okay. Well, hero, it looks like you've saved the kingdom. Thanks to you, peace reigns over Thornwood once again. Okay, I can't speed this up. It's just going. It's sad that I must bid you farewell, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Another new song. Hey. All right. That is the end of Shining in the Darkness. Is that our treasure enemy? It is. A uh, chest beak. Chest beak. I was going to say treasure beak. That's right. <laughs> this is so cool. There's new art for all this. Man, that was an adventure. That was awesome. It was much better than I would have ever expected it to be. Same. I really thought this would be a step back. And it was not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. And I feel like this adds so much to the lore of the Shining World. It I does. Mean, it brings so many races. Like, all the characters that were one-offs in the other games, you see several of them here. There's just so much more, like, potential. For sure. And I am definitely going to do, like, a lot of theory crafting kind of stuff around this. I have no doubt. Great Art of the Crab. It's weird that I haven't seen these before. Like, I've looked for Shining in the Darkness art, and I hadn't seen any of those. Special thanks to those people. Executive producers, Sega, created by Climax. All right. Yeah, I usually give more of my thoughts, but like, oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Now, conspicuously, there was no romance between Hero and the princess like we had theorized. That's a, a welcome change, but a very unexpected change.
yeah yeah that's very true um and i think i kind of prefer it this way like, i think i do too i'm fine with like romance stuff but in shining force 2 it's just so rushed like it should be earned and it wouldn't have been earned in this game and so yeah it's, it feels right yes um are we assuming what sword are we assuming that is Ooh, interesting question the it color is... scheme makes me think mortrid yeah that would make sense it's certainly not the light blade mm -mm. well what happens now anything oh do i just stay here yep i can't oh now it moves okay so what if i reload our save what happens Is it just starting over completely? Yep. Well, that's interesting. So not only does the game not continue, but it erases your file? Apparently. Is there any kind of, like... New Game Plus? There's probably not. I don't know if we'd no. even invented New Game Plus yet. <laughs> I find it unlikely. Yep. Doesn't seem like it, but... Man, this was an adventure. Oh yeah, I forgot the opening credits were the way they are. That's so cool. This game is so neat. There's just so many small things that I really appreciate. Um, this is not one that I would want to revisit anytime soon, I don't think. But yeah, I'm really happy this was made. I think it fits great with the rest of the Shining games, and I'm really happy we did this. Thank you all so much for coming along on this adventure, and thank you, Captain, for coming along on this adventure. You have been an excellent co-pilot. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure to be here, and hopefully not for the last time. Yeah. Definitely not for the last time. Um, we're going to do, I think, a bonus episode. I do have two ideas actually for what that's going to be maybe we'll do both maybe we'll do two bonus episodes on this you never know come back uh in a couple days to see what that is <laughs> but that is going to be the finale thank you all for joining us on this post uh, in the comments what you thought of this game are you really into it or do you feel like the ending was really good or not good enough let me know what you think and all the feel free to do all the ancient theory crafting you want and what that chamber was because I know I'm going to do a lot of that coming up. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.